why do you think bird flu is re-emerging now? And what are you watching for in the next few weeks and months so that we, so that we know whether this is sort of like last year where a lot of animals die, but people don't? Like, what is, what's, what's the Rasmussen sort of uh, radar? Rasmussen radar. Well, it's, it's so hard to predict. I mean, as, like with everything, the Rasmussen radar says, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I'll take my best guess. And I think one of the reasons we continue to have this problem is that this has been a panzootic, a pandemic in animals that's been going on since 2021. Um, so it's in wild birds. We can't do really anything about that. And it's all over wild birds. And a lot of them don't get that sick when they have it. So they can keep flying around. They don't die. They give it to other animals. What we can do something about is the virus that gets into animals that is close to us, animals that we control. So poultry, dairy cows, um, pets, that sort of thing. Um, but we need to do a better job essentially of controlling the spillover into other animals that are in close proximity with humans. I think that is the thing that, that we haven't done. What we also haven't done or been doing for the past year since this new administration took over is testing humans for H5N1. And there are also strong disincentives for many of the farm workers to actually report a potential exposure because they don't want to end up in an ICE detention facility. Right. Um, so we have a real problem with human surveillance. Like if we want to prevent this from becoming a pandemic or at least lower the risk, we have to make sure that people aren't actually getting infected. And we're not doing that currently. Um, there's essentially no response. So my I guess my prescription is that we really need to do a better job of getting this under control in animals, and we really need to do a better job of human surveillance so we can make sure that this outcome doesn't happen. Uh, and we need to consider vaccination of poultry and domestic cows uh, in the long run to prevent these reservoirs from even existing in the first place. There have been 9 million chickens, um, almost 9 million chickens killed this year. Currently, there are 81 confirmed poultry and backyard flock outbreaks in the U.S. I mean, this virus is all over the place. So we really need to do a better job of, of stamping it out essentially where we can.